So a commonly asked question on my channel is, Ray, how did you learn to code? Or how do I start coding? Did you have to study computer science? Do you need to know a lot of maths? It's interesting because I also get many assumptions from people that I either studied or work in computer science, which <laughs> like, thank you, but I'm um, actually no, I'm all self-taught. As you can tell from the title, I only went to law school and I'm working as a lawyer right now, which is which is kind of crazy because law and programming seems so distant. But I guess that goes to show that anyone can learn to code regardless of background. In this video, I thought it'd be cool if I share how I started programming and then give you a step-by-step -step guide for you to start programming. Yeah, um, I'm not a pro, I'm still learning myself, but hopefully through this video, I can inspire some of you to take that first step. And yeah, I don't think I can cover everything in this video. So let me know in the comments if you want more content like this. Yeah, uh, let's go. So I started learning code in the summer break of my first year of uni. I just binge watched a bunch of Java tutorials on YouTube, but because I didn't have a structured schedule, nothing went into my head. And all I remembered was how to print Hello World. That's basically only knowing how to say Konnichiwa in Japanese, and that's it. Um, uni resumed and I didn't touch code for a year. Then summer break of the second year came, and that was when I started to properly teach myself code. I wanted to start on a clean slate, so I chose Python, which is well known for being a versatile and beginner friendly language. And the turning point was this book, which was, yo, it was fantastic because it had a step by step tutorial on how to build an alien version game, which OMG, I can actually show you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it works. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, it's a very simple game. But at the time, you know, I was so happy because it was the first time that I built something tangible. Yeah, and I guess that's important. Confidence. After that, I deleted the game and rebuilt it. Deleted again and rebuilt it. I repeated this process until I could finally build a game without following the tutorial. That really helped me consolidate my understanding of the basics. Once I felt comfortable with the basics, I then tried to make my own game using the Alien Vader game as a base. Here, I experimented with changing parts of the code to see what effect it had on the game. I also began searching on Google and Stack Overflow to learn how to implement new features. And slowly but surely, I was able to turn this game into a multiplayer tank shooter game. And yet, yeah, that gave me a massive confidence boost and I was hooked into learning more. I then relearned Java and because I now understood the basics, yo, everything made sense to me. And that's the thing about code. The basics are hard. But once you understand them, you can learn any language. And since then, I've been building projects for fun, whether it be improving my productivity at work or for this channel. Basically, whenever I get annoyed at something or inspired to do something, I'll think to myself, how can I use code to automate that thing? I will then research and learn on the go. And depending on the project, I will learn new languages like JavaScript, Node, and C. In other words, I'm at the stage now where I'm not learning how to code, but rather I'm learning how to solve problems with code. So yeah, um, based on my experience, here is my recommended learning strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, go to W3 schools and learn the basics of JavaScript. Although I started with Java and Python, I think JavaScript is the best starting point because it's very easy to run and implement. No fancy installation required. In fact, if you go to Chrome, go to Developer Tools and the console, you can start coding with JavaScript. JavaScript is also highly demanded in the market, and it can be used to build websites and simple flash games. When learning each topic, you don't have to understand everything. The goal here is just to know what the basics of code are and what data structures exist. Step two, follow a YouTube tutorial on how to build a simple game in JavaScript. The point here is to see how the basics of code are applied and understand how loops, conditions, maps, etc. are used. Step 3. Delete the game and rebuild it as many times as possible until you can finally build the game without following the tutorial. Don't just memorize the code, learn how to understand the code. Be the code. <laughs> Step 4. Experiment and transform the game into another game. Learn how to search new techniques and features on Google and Stack Overflow. Be a research god. 
Step 5. Start creating your own projects and learn whatever is necessary to build that project. So yeah, you don't need to be a genius to learn how to code. Like on a scale from potato to RM, you can just be right there. You only need to know addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And even though I've used a bit more complex maths in my videos, it's all based on research. However, what you do need is patience. Like on a scale from zero to suho, you need to have a patience of a tortoise. <laughs> the basics of programming can be quite hard to grasp, but once you have them down, you can pretty much do anything.